In this bite-sized video we continue up the Ant from Ludden Bridge heading for Gay Stave and we go for a walk and we was going to go for a couple of beers but no disaster struck. It turned out to be a bad day for pubs. Yeah, so he must have been waiting for us to pass so he could just turn around. Me thinks. Now there's a popular wild mooring just on the right here. It's got a boat in it. I think Clayton Carl would have enjoyed the walk if we could have got to Warmack. The walk that we do up to Awil and then down to Ludham Bridge and then up past the dog, eventually. Um, that was about seven miles that one. I've got that one somewhere on YouTube. Another battery. Let's use some batteries on this thing. Plan was not to do as much filming. So I don't know what the fishing has been like up these upper stretches of the rivers but down um, Stokesby, Nick tried the other day but no chance. I've that no thanks. With the salt surges and loads of dead fish. I, obviously the camera will pick them up but you'll have seen the seagulls when picking them up. Down, down. Not too, not, not too long doing there. Yeah, I think they tied up the front first and the back end was swinging out so the young girl went to help them. I was trying to get it on film and almost uh, clipped a dinghy. So that's how well. Stay tuned for Earthstead. Mm. Okay. 
keep my eye on this bloody camera, it's just done it again on there. It lost another two days and then I could check for firmware updates when we get around properly. Very soon at Barton Road. I think we'll probably get, well actually we'd have got we we'll get to Gear Stave 15 minutes earlier than we would have done to Meatstead. We couldn't get in there. So it's so frosty. So if you was going up to Stellan, you'd follow Emma up there. Well, obviously, if Emma Lou was in front of you. But you go in that direction. And if you're going up to Neatstead, or Gearstead, it's to the left. This one here is coming towards us, the other one's going away from us. Yeah. Follow that one. That's Pleasure Island in the middle. Yeah, this island here that it's straight in front. Oh, right. good. Yeah, to your right. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah. It's called Pleasure Island. It's a bit fresh up here. 
Back in this now, yeah. So was that, so it's that there, yeah. Yeah. There must be much breeze down here, he's not going very fast, is he? No. Will we get past him before he turns? Should. Am I going past the green post turning? No, you go straight ahead, straight down. Alright. What are you on about then? Him there, he's just turning, he's tacking across this way now, so... We've got plenty of room. So if you was going to Neatstead, Carl, you'd be turning right just after that boat there. Right, but we're, but go we're not, we're going to the left. We're just going to go, it's, well it's, it's just there on the left, we're just going to have a look to see if we can get in. So we might have to turn around and come back. Well, we'll know by the time we get a bit nearer. So, when you, when you get a bit nearer, just slow down a bit. What, we're on 10 mile an hour? <laughs> <laughs> Good job we weren't, innit, going near that post. It's a lesson to be learned, before, isn't it? Really? Well, yeah, even though you're only going four, mile, four or five yeah, miles an hour. Three. It's three miles an hour down here, but even though you're going three mile, uh, five miles an hour, if you just take your eye off it for a minute. Oh, yeah. There's a bolt coming out of everything. Yeah, it's alright, we'll just wait till it gets out and we'll go in. Yeah, I'll win him. Yeah. So if a bolt comes out, it's always a good sign, isn't it? That's going to be well, unless he's just gone down and found there's no space and turned around and come out. But yeah, there's loads of space. So it's a stern on mooring again. Might be in. Yeah. So you just get, so you're just going to head, head, head towards the this has got a jacket on. We're just going to, we're just going to head to the to where that fair prince is there. I can't even see where you're pointing there. That boat there, fair prince. Yeah. Head to the front of it. Yeah. And you turn full lock to your right. So head to the front and turn full lock now. Well, no, a bit farther that way over there, to the front of the boat. Alright. We're all looking at us. <laughs> We're too fast. Yeah, you can slow down a bit if you want. It's not too fast really. And full lock on now, yeah? Yeah, pretty full lock on now. Alright, full a bit lock of on. Reverse. Come on, reverse. More gently, yeah. No, there's a bit more, you're actually not going backwards yet. Right, now a bit more gently. Right, yeah, not getting a shout back, Sandy. So you have to just go forward a little bit now. I can't see them now. No, not, not, not too rough, nice and gentle. Go back, 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 back. You're doing it a little bit too hard again, right? Can't say why I'm doing it too hard. Look, you only need to go really slow. Right. Just forward a little bit, not much. Is it on the back of the boat? No, right, can you reverse now? Still reverse. Right, neutral. Just go three forks, you're saying. Right, forward a bit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. So this is only the second time ever I've moored here. The last time was only for about 10 minutes. Right, so the plan now is, well we haven't decided yet. So I've got Dumb and Dumber here. If they want lunch, it's a bit early, it's only quarter to 11. So let's tell Carly can't drink today. So we'll do our walk. The Neatstead walk. Um, if they don't want lunch, we might as well just go and have a couple of pints, come back and go somewhere else. So we will see. Okay, we're doing the walks. So if you're coming out of Neatstead Stead, you come down towards Gay Stead, and the footpath sign is there. If you come out from Gay Stead. So if you're coming from the Eatstead, foot pass on your right. If you're coming from Gay Stead, foot pass on your left. And basically, now I'm not going to put the camera on for this one too much. It's straight over the field, bare left till you get to the road, bare right, keep going right, basically, until you bike. Well, not bike, but to you at the beer and at the pub. And then we'll see what they want to do from there. I'm not too sure I want lunch at the minute. Bush trimmed alongside at road. So they go walking a lot, they don't know the country. Uh, what's it called? Ooh, the countryside code. Right, so I said I went for them and then I will see you come out from behind those houses and just turn right. We'll keep going right. Hmm, not sure. Common road, run or common lane. One of the two. Which is appropriate in it with these two. Common as muck road. Well, we've done that. It's a bit breezy, so that's another no drone day. Getting bad at that. I've lost a bottle with it since I crashed it. Um, but we've done really well for the weather. And then look at the sky. It is a bit breezy, but it's not too bad. Um, we had an odd little shower. I think that was on the Friday when we was cruising down towards South Walsham. Or it could have been on the Saturday when we was cruising down towards Stokesby. And then, the only time we've seen it, well, me and Carl didn't see the rain. Well, we did outside the window. We was at the King's Head at Loddon. Colette had gone down to see how Christine was. And told me and Carl to stay where, stay put, play pool, have more beer. Don't want us all getting wet. So that was the only time we've seen rain. Oh. It's not even been cold at night. We brought red oil for radiators with us, not used them. Yeah. But like Christine said, because I said we might as well leave them at home, she said we haven't got them and it's freezing, we'd have to cuddle up. I don't think she wanted that. Oh my god, what's she doing? What's that? Starter. You gonna eat? Oh my god! Mm. It's got bird pee on it and everything. Yeah, they're just going off. Oh, well, you can eat these red berries as well, you know. Yeah, 
Just looking for mushrooms now. <laughs> so you can walk along the side. It goes off. It is narrow and it does get busy sometimes down here. So he says. If you like that, Look like a tomato. It's only three course meal before we got to the pub. Got you something. Is that what, is that? what is it? It's not a tomato. Well, try it. No. no. Done. All right. Let's go in. Entrance. Yeah, you gotta go through the courtyard. Yeah. That was short, is it? Turns it. Oh, back entrance via the car. Right. Is that half there? No. We're half now, yeah. Is it open at twelve? Where? Well, only 11, isn't it? Oh, yeah, right. What time is it? Half 11. Good pizza, really. Well, we didn't get the... We didn't get to the pub. Well, we did, but it was short, as you've seen now. So, but... Claire's going to get some fudge now, so she's had a four-course meal already, and we haven't even got back to the boat yet. Uh, what's the choices? We've got rum and raisin, Baileys. Baileys, probably. I don't know if they're on. Raspberry and white. What's Red the one in the top? Raspberry and white. Oh, that one. No. I just pulled that one out for herself. What's in these? Raspberry and white. Chocolate orange. Rum and raisin. Chocolate orange, no? No. No. Um, I don't know, she might have even walked down and got her own. Just get yours. It's only a pound each, you don't want to just get two. It's not a pound, it's £1.50. Eh? Well, £1.50. Tells you on there, £1.50. Yeah, well, I thought you wanted to get chocolate orange or something, no? Raspberry? No. Oh, what's the flavour? You got 50p? I've got no change. I'll have to get two. Yeah, I've got 50. Where's the box? The, the green box box, yeah. Uh. Somebody like two peas up. <laughs> right, so... I've missed, I'll get another one. So there's half missing. So the walk from Gay Stair going over the field and to the White Horse was 45 minutes. And then it's only 15, 20 minutes walk down to Gay Stair from there. So yeah, Colette and Carl wanted to stay in the pub all day but I thought, yeah. well for one it weren't open, and I thought it wasn't fair on Christine really to leave her in the boat while we were in the pub. Go back now and make sure she's tucked in bed or something and 
She's alright, cup of chocolate or something, not chocolate. Right. Keep my open actually. Keep my open for the turn off. I walk past it once. So ten to twelve. Back at Gay Staith. There's Nick. And Abney Roll. Alright. Peak too early. Pub weren't even open. The pub wasn't open. You just walked in for no reason. Well we just did it circular walk. Thought it opened at eleven. But no. Yeah, yeah. I've just got it, just got it. Got some old geezer telling us that we go too fast across the uh thing likes Across where about and broad? Yeah. He, he come over to push us towards the uh, green. One of the boats in front of us had to go around the side of the green, but it was a little higher boat, so. Like sort of thing. I thought you said that you couldn't moor here now. You can't, but it looks like they've packed up. It's normally a big sign. Oh, right. Saying don't moor it. So, yeah. Didn't really have much choice unless I get down there. Yeah. A lot less hassle coming down this way, he says. What's the plan? Yeah, got it. Yeah. I like the end slot. I like to push off the end. Yeah. I just tried putting two pound in there and it fell off the floor and then I read this. Oh, they were fishing. Setting it up. Yeah, this is one of these favourite spots. Well, we say goodbye to Nick and Nicky, who Nick's just setting up for doing a bit of fishing and we're heading now down to Warmack Water. Um, surely we can't have any more bad luck with the pubs. Yes, we can and don't, can't we, surely? Right, okay, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, because there'll be a few more coming in this series, and then we'll have a complete new series starting in February, so you don't want to miss out on those. Where I've got more clampets with me.